For the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So, Pisces, in the recent past, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Strength card. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you probably had a great deal to be thankful for in the recent past. Your relationships, your finance, your health, all these things were going well. You might need to, maybe you need it, excuse me, maybe you need it to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it and be sure to share what you have even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need because we all know that we get back what we give out so a very happy indicator when it comes to love questions and just overall this ten of pentacles is beautiful now it's paired with the strength card with this strength card, it's important for you to meditate, to contemplate, maybe spend some time alone. Even if you were in a committed, even if you were in a committed relationship and you had a lot of kids, it would have been important for you not to allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, because the outward things they would have been going pretty well. And what's most important at that time was probably keeping your head on straight. Not only did you have the ability, but you had the responsibility. So it would have been important for you to conquer any fears, control your impulses, and try not to lose patience with yourself or what you were trying to do at that time. So basically the strength card and the Ten of Pentacles, I'm picking up that in the recent past, there was someone that wanted the end-all, be-all with you. Commitment, marriage, possibly maybe living in together or taking the, the relationship to the next level commitment someone wanted this with you in the recent past they felt that uh, it was a good relationship with the strength card showing up here uh, they felt that it was mutually supportive and beneficial and they liked the, the person you were involved with they liked the strength that you brought to the connection. So this person, they either wanted a second chance or they wanted commitment with the Ten of Pentacles showing up. And you could have felt the same way. It, these two cards are really great. Two good cards, so I'm, that's what I'm picking up. You might have felt the same way about someone. But um, it looks like a happy indicator in a recent past. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at the present time. We got the Five of Swords and the Hermit card. Now, the Five of Swords, it's showing conflict. Conflict is near, for sure. If you can see the picture of this card, the Five of Swords is above the word present. This man, he has five swords. He's got three at his at his leg or on the ground and then he has two in his hands and so he will pick up the other three if he has to use them because this man is pissed he's upset he's got mixed feelings could be about in life could be about life in general or maybe a few people in particular it's important not to ignore these feelings but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either because you could ruin the very things that you want the most such as close intimate relationships with your friends and lovers so the five of swords is about thinking several times before you really let someone have it even if you know they deserve it it's about picking your battles now it's with the hermit card which is a, which can be a spiritual card very 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 spiritual it often has to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church, just like, um, well, just like the strength card, it's about being in the frame of mind of needing some time alone. So don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying to do really hard the right thing 
But just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So for the present time, coming up towards the end of July this month, could go into August. So we've got the Hermit and the Five of Swords. It's basically saying that it looks like you're really upset at someone or you'll be having some um, some mixed feelings about someone. Yep, this Five of Swords, like I said, it's about conflict. So maybe someone is making you really upset. And you're, you'll be taking the time to clear your mind. So you might be looking for some alone time with this Hermit card coming up here. And that's probably how you, you plan on dealing with this person that's really making you upset. You want to you want to clear your mind and get rid of get rid of some anger or get rid of some baggage. So it looks like you take to yourself towards the end of towards the end of July. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the challenge. We got judgment, and we got King of Swords. Now judgment it's a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions. And of course, the judgments that, that are too hastily made. And if you are prone to doing this, it's a signal to slow down. It's a signal to slow down. Give people more chances and give things more thought. It can be a time of spiritual awakening also. It's about forgiveness, reconciliation. And redemption, and redemption. Now the judgment card is with King of Swords, which often stands for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It can go either way. You may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, particularly when this card is not referring to an actual person in your life. So you might need to consider the feelings of other, others before you act. The King of Swords, it's a very forceful energy. It's known as the Narcissist. So you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. So for the challenge, we got Judgment and King of Swords. Now, it looks like you could be dealing with someone who's very forceful, probably arrogant. This person might overstep their bounds. Um, they might be pushy, um, really opinionated. Um, you could be dealing with a narcissist. Very forceful. This person will mistreat you, or they might be mistreating you, and on top of that, We've got the judgment card here. So this person, they do a lot of jumping to conclusions. And um, they don't really offer forgiveness. If you make a little silly mistake, uh, you're probably re in real big trouble. Whereas if they make a little silly mistake, they probably expect you to forgive right away. And this causes the connection to be at a make or break period dealing with someone like this. Very forceful energy, this King of Swords. Yep, they may only think about what affects them personally and not really caring or caring about the wants and needs of others or, or you. So that's a challenge. That, that would be a big challenge for anyone, dealing with someone like that. So, let's move over. And let's take a look at the outcome. We've got the Ace of Cups, and it's with the Moon card. Now, this Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card in the tarot when it comes to love 
happiness, affection. Like all the aces, it's about a new beginning. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. And if you're looking for... Well, let me put it this way. It could indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up with the Ace of Cups. They're looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, and goodwill more than usually at this time. So you should be feeling really good overall about life in general. It's a great time to make friends also. It's with the moon card though. The moon card, you're feeling psychic, you're feeling psychic and intuitive more than usually. So it's important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. You have to go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on news or an answer for, from someone, it may take longer than you would like for it to. So you also have to try to stay patient when you get the moon card. So Pisces, the outcome, we got the moon card in Ace of Cups. So this person you're dealing with looks like the King of Swords, this narcissist. They might, they see that you're pissed and you're angry and upset and you're taking to yourself. You're not, you might be cutting them short. You might be trying to just spend time alone with this hermit card here. They see that you, you're bothered by what's going on. And you, they see that you hate the fact that they don't offer forgiveness. And they do a lot of jumping to conclusions. So this person might try to offer you a fresh start with the Ace of Cups. They might come up with something and want to say, let's give this a new start or let's try it over. Let's do this again. Um, Cause this person that you're dealing with, they have a they have deep attraction. There's a deep attraction they have for you. That's what the Ace of Cups is about also. So they want a fresh new start with you. They want a new beginning. They want a, um, a deeper level of understanding. Or they could be asking for something more committed with this Ace of Cups showing here. But because the Moon card is here, you feel like too much is is hidden from you. You feel like this person could possibly um, be deceptive. They don't, re they don't really say how they really feel. Or you could feel like they wear a mask a lot of times. So you've got some issues with this person. Um, you may not, you may even not trust this person. You may not trust this person also. Because this just feels like too much is hidden and then their um, demeanor or the way they act towards you with this king of swords, um, being forceful, opinionated, they might mistreat you and it's hard for them to forgive. But they're gonna they want they're gonna want a new beginning with you or a fresh new start. But And you might still be mad here. We might just might still be mad and you just it looks like you might just keep to yourself at least for a while. Yep, because this person has a lot going on. A whole lot. They don't really say how they feel. So it makes you feel like they're de deceptive or there's deception. Um and then this forceful energy is, is horrible. And then they jump to conclusions a lot. And then it causes you to get upset and angry and run around with two swords in your hand. So, it sounds like it's a difficult situation for some people. 
But this person will be reaching out to you. They want a fresh new start with you, Pisces. This person has deep attraction for you. And you may not even know it. Yeah, because this type of person, they usually have a hard time showing true emotions. So, good luck with that. Good luck with that, uh, Pisces. Or good luck with this person that you're dealing with. 